Welcome. Remember to like and subscribe. Now on to the story. Chapter 3. A Transformative Bond. In the early morning light, Alex's apartment was a sanctuary of determination. The makeshift gym corner had become a place of dedication and sweat, where the clinks of weights and the rhythm of controlled breathing echoed in harmony. It was here that Alex and Emma forged a transformative bond that transcended the physical changes they were orchestrating. Emma's expertise in biology and hormone regulation was an invaluable asset. Armed with research, studies, and an unyielding determination, the siblings embarked on a journey that demanded both discipline and empathy. As they delved deeper into the world of hormone therapy, they encountered not only the technical aspects but also the emotional and psychological intricacies that lay beneath the surface. Each day brought new challenges and revelations. Alex found himself adapting to a new routine, one that was focused not just on building physical strength, but on cultivating mental resilience. Emma's guidance extended beyond workouts and hormone dosages, she became a mentor in the art of self-care, emphasizing the importance of meditation, mindfulness, and emotional well-being. The kitchen table became a command center of sorts, covered in papers, notebooks, and laptops. They mapped out a schedule that included hormone intake, exercise routines, and regular check-ins to monitor progress. Alex's apartment was a blend of science and dedication, as he meticulously tracked his journey toward transformation. Hormone replacement therapy, HRT, was a cornerstone of their plan. With Emma's guidance, Alex began taking a carefully calibrated dosage of estrogen, a hormone that would gradually shape his physical appearance. He learned about the effects estrogen could have on his body, the softening of skin, the redistribution of fat, and the changes in muscle tone. But the journey wasn't without its challenges. Alex grappled with mood swings, fluctuating emotions that were both foreign and disconcerting. Emma had prepared him for this, explaining that hormone therapy could influence not just his physical attributes, but his mental state as well. The roller coaster of feelings was a reminder of the complexity of human biology, of the intricate interplay between hormones and emotions. As days turned into weeks, the changes began to manifest. Alex's skin became smoother, his features subtly shifting. He watched with a mix of awe and trepidation as the reflection in the mirror transformed. The mirror, once a tool of self-evaluation, became a source of both empowerment and uncertainty. He saw not just the physical changes, but the echoes of a journey that was reshaping his perception of self. The workouts took on a rhythm of their own, a dance of determination that unfolded daily. Emma was a constant presence, her guidance a steady force that kept Alex grounded. She observed his form, made adjustments to his routines, and celebrated every milestone. With each workout, he felt a connection not just to the weights and resistance bands, but to the resilience that pulsed within him. And in the quiet moments between sets, they talked. They talked about identity and self-discovery, about the societal constructs that define gender roles, and about the courage it took to challenge them. Emma shared stories of her college days, where she had been part of discussions on gender studies and had explored the intricate ways that biology and society intersected. The apartment walls seemed to soak in their conversations, becoming witnesses to a bond that was evolving in tandem with the physical changes. Alex felt a kinship with his sister, a shared journey that went beyond science and medicine. They were allies in a quest to redefine boundaries, to challenge assumptions, and to craft a narrative that was uniquely their own. But the journey wasn't without its moments of doubt. There were days when Alex questioned the path he had chosen, when the enormity of his decision felt like an overwhelming weight on his shoulders. It was in these moments that Emma's presence became a lifeline, a reminder that he wasn't alone in this endeavor. Her unwavering support, her patient explanations, were a balm to his uncertainty. And as the weeks marched on, the changes became more pronounced. Alex could see his body shifting, his muscles taking on a new definition. The contours of his face softened, his hair seemed to gain a new luster. The transformation was both exhilarating and disconcerting, a testament to the power of determination and the wonders of modern science. But it was the emotional transformation that resonated the most. Alex found himself experiencing a spectrum of feelings he had never encountered before. There were moments of euphoria, when he looked in the mirror and saw glimpses of the woman he was becoming. And there were moments of vulnerability, when the weight of his decision and the uncertainty of the future threatened to overwhelm him. 
Emma was his compass through these emotional fluctuations. She provided insights, sharing her understanding of the psychological impacts of hormone therapy. She encouraged Alex to explore his emotions, to embrace the journey of self-discovery with an open heart. Together, they navigated the uncharted waters of Alex's transformation, drawing strength from their bond. As the apartment walls absorbed their shared stories, the siblings found themselves growing not just physically, but also in empathy and understanding. Emma's role extended beyond that of a guide, she was a confidant, a source of wisdom, and a mirror that reflected the courage Alex had displayed in pursuing this bold plan. And so, against the backdrop of their evolving apartment, Alex and Emma continued their journey of transformation. Each day brought new revelations, new challenges, and new triumphs. They were sculpting more than just a body, they were crafting a narrative of resilience, empathy, and the power of forging one's own path. As the sun set on another day, casting hues of gold and pink across the cityscape, the apartment stood as a testament to their shared dedication. The room was filled with the echoes of their laughter, their conversations, and the sound of weights hitting the floor. And through it all, the bond between Alex and Emma grew stronger, a testament to the transformative power of determination and the unbreakable ties that bound them together. The bond between Alex and Emma deepened as they embarked on the intricate journey of transformation. Their apartment had transformed into a haven of dedication, a place where the clinks of weights and the rhythm of controlled breathing echoed in harmony. But beyond the physical changes taking place, a profound emotional transformation was unfolding, one that would forever alter their relationship. The apartment's living room had been transformed into a makeshift research center. Books, notebooks, and laptops covered every available surface, a testament to the meticulous approach Alex and Emma were taking. Together, they delved deeper into the world of hormone therapy, not just the technical aspects, but the emotional and psychological dimensions that lay beneath. Emma's expertise in biology and endocrinology became a beacon guiding their path. She shared her knowledge of hormone regulation, discussing the effects of estrogen and its potential impact on Alex's body. The conversations were enlightening yet challenging, forcing them to confront not only the science but also the emotional aspects of the transformation. It's not just about physical changes, Emma explained one evening as they sat at the kitchen table, surrounded by open textbooks. Hormone therapy can influence mood, emotions, and even cognitive function. It's crucial to understand the holistic impact. Alex nodded, absorbing the information. I've noticed some mood swings lately, and I'm not sure if it's related to the hormones or just the stress of it all. It's entirely possible, Emma affirmed. Hormones play a significant role in regulating emotions. As your body adjusts to the changes, you might experience fluctuations in mood. It's important to be aware of these shifts and to practice self-care. And so, in addition to the workouts and hormone dosages, a new routine emerged, one that incorporated mindfulness, meditation, and emotional well-being. Emma guided Alex through relaxation techniques, teaching him how to recognize and manage his emotions. The apartment walls seemed to absorb their shared knowledge, becoming witnesses to their journey of growth and resilience. As the physical changes began to manifest, Alex found himself navigating uncharted territory. He watched in amazement as his skin became smoother, his features subtly shifting. The transformation was exhilarating yet unnerving, a reminder that he was venturing into unfamiliar territory. In one of their candid conversations, Emma shared stories from her college days, where she had been part of discussions on gender studies and identity. Gender is a complex construct, she explained. It's not just about biology, but about the intersection of biology, identity, and societal expectations. Alex listened intently, realizing that his journey was not just about physical transformation but about challenging and deconstructing societal norms. He was learning that the journey wasn't just about becoming a woman but about understanding the intricate interplay of biology, identity, and empathy. As days turned into weeks, the physical changes became more pronounced. Alex's skin grew softer, his muscle tone shifted, and he watched with a mix of awe and trepidation as the mirror reflected a woman gazing back at him. The mirror, once a source of self-doubt, had become a mirror of empowerment, reflecting the strength and determination that defined his journey. But the journey was not without its challenges. Hormone therapy brought with it emotional fluctuations that were at times disconcerting. 
There were days when Alex felt an overwhelming mix of emotions, a roller coaster that left him questioning his decisions and wondering about the future. Emma was a steadfast presence through these emotional storms. She provided guidance and reassurance, helping Alex navigate the unpredictable landscape of emotions. It's completely normal, she would say. Hormones have a powerful influence on mood. The key is to be gentle with yourself and to give yourself the space to process. Their conversations extended beyond biology and emotions. They discussed identity, self-discovery, and the courage it took to challenge societal norms. They shared stories, fears, and hopes, creating a bond that was as much about understanding as it was about support. One evening, as they sat on the apartment's balcony, gazing out at the city lights, Alex voiced a thought that had been on his mind. Emma, this journey has made me realize that gender isn't just about physical appearance. It's about identity, the way we perceive ourselves, and how we navigate the world. Emma nodded, a smile of understanding on her lips. Exactly. Your journey is a testament to the complexity of identity. It's a reminder that gender isn't confined to binary definitions. It's a spectrum, and each individual's experience is unique. The balcony became a space of reflection, a place where Alex and Emma contemplated not only their personal journeys, but the broader implications of their experiences. They discussed the societal constructs that dictated gender roles and the courage it took to challenge these norms. The city below them seemed to buzz with the echoes of their conversations, as if absorbing their discussions on empathy, understanding, and transformation. And as the weeks turned into a month, the bond between Alex and Emma continued to evolve. They were more than just siblings, they were allies on a journey of empowerment and self-discovery. The walls of the apartment, filled with the energy of their conversations, became a testament to the transformative power of determination and the unbreakable ties that bound them together.